Welcome to Relationship Realities with Roland and Raina. We're going to be bringing you a little funny, a little crazy, and a whole lot of reality. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, guys. Hey, if you're new here, of course, you know, stick around. You're going to learn a thing or two, laugh a time or two. We got some juice for you today. Yes, definitely. So this week, we're going to talk about what we did over the past weekend and mm-hmm. week, actually. Yep. Um, and then we're going to dive right in to some more juicy letters that have been <laughs> sent to us. Yes. Yes. So what did we do this past week, my love? Well, we were in beautiful San Diego. No humid Oh my goodness. San Diego. Yes. I'd actually never been. And then the night and day difference between oh my gosh. just the weather itself right. is incredible. And the food. And and the food, the authentic food. Yes. It was it was a blast. Mm-hmm. If you have not been following along on our adventures, we uh, have been posting up video vlogs um, from all of the days that we were out there. And you can find those from our website, rr with rr.com. Just click on our YouTube link and you'll be able to see all of our vlogs right there. Yeah, absolutely. And we're, we got two more videos to release that are pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. So um, be on the lookout for those too. Yeah, we were super busy. All week oh and my God, super busy. visiting and eating food and all kinds of stuff. It was all great. All kinds. I'm, I'm surprised we even had time to make the videos that we did. I know. Well, it's because you're awesome. Well, thank you, baby. <laughs> okay, so we're jumping into some Let's juice. Let's dive in. We're diving in. Dive on First in. things first, I want to let you know that I have not read this email. I haven't. Raina hasn't told me anything about it. Second thing I wanted to say is we really want you to send in... Um, your stories. Yeah, your questions. Yeah, your questions, your stories. And, you know, of course, if we read yours back, it's anonymous. Of, of course. course. And yes. um, we just, we we like the stories, but we also like giving the advice behind it. So, yeah. Yeah, be sure to do that. Just so. think of this as a, a Dear Abby podcast. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right, so let's get into this. And like Roland said, he hadn't read this. I got to it before he did. And I said, bingo, this is going to be the next podcast. So let's get right in. All right. So yeah. All right. Let's do it. Dear Roland and Raina, I'm writing to you in the hopes that you'll be able to offer some guidance to me like you did for the other listener. I've been seeing my boyfriend for about two years now and we're extremely happy. He's a great guy and I'm very fortunate to have him in my life. He's extremely close with his family, especially his two brothers. His family is awesome and they've always treated me like I was a part of the family. So here's my dilemma. About a month ago, there was a big party for my boyfriend's older brother, and it was a pretty big event. Food, drinks, everything. Well, I had quite a bit to drink, and I went to my boyfriend's room to lay down. I woke up in the dark to an extremely passionate kiss. Thinking it was my boyfriend, I kissed back. A few seconds into the kiss, I knew it wasn't him. I turned on the light, and it was his older brother. He immediately begged me not to say anything. I started to get up to go find my boyfriend, and his brother stopped me and told me that I'd tear the family apart. He begged me to at least think about it before I made a decision, and I agreed. At this point, I don't know what to do, because if I do say something, what if my boyfriend doesn't believe me? What if it puts a rift between him and the brother he idolizes? I don't know what to do. Help, please. Okay, so that was juice. That, um... Okay, so just to go over that one more time, passionate kiss, right. middle of the night. Right. Thought it was her boyfriend. Right, because she passed out in her boyfriend's room. Right. Right. And it was her boyfriend's older brother, mm-hmm. who the brother actually Idolizes. really looks up to. Right. Yeah. This is a situation. Mm-hmm. Because I can <sighs> see where she's coming from. You know, if she says something and then what if the boyfriend doesn't believe her or what if you know he it causes a huge problem in the family and then she's an outcast and the the boyfriend is an outcast and you know who wants to go to family events when there's tension going on you know and then on the flip side is if she doesn't say anything yeah they've got and the boyfriend finds out right and they they find out but not only that okay Let's assume that the boyfriend never finds out. Okay. Okay. And also, let's assume that she, you know, of course, never says anything. Right. But whenever they go to a family event, 
they're always they're going to see each other that's that and awkwardness. know that something happened right like, super awkward um yeah that's this is a dilemma right i i think because it was I, and i i definitely it was just a kiss and i don't say that lightly because a kiss is still extremely right intimate it, well, Oh. But it could have been worse. It could have been worse, but a kiss is a kiss, yes. Right. A kiss between right. me and you, yeah. A kiss in the dark at midnight, one in the morning, right. in your brother's room with your brother's girlfriend is completely different than just a kiss. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, the brother is completely in the wrong. Like, I don't yeah, it, it, know. He, yes, yeah, he's completely in the wrong. Yeah. Um. And let, let's not even get into the fact that he might say something like, oh, he was drunk or something like that. Right. Let's not even get into that. Right. And who knows, like, if the brother, if she tries to say something to the boyfriend, if the brother tries to flip it. You know what I mean? Because nobody else was in the room besides those two. So it's his word against hers. No, I don't take it like that, hun. I don't take it uh, like that. She went into the room first. Right. Knowing that was the boyfriend's room. Right. Okay. But now, I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we I, don't know what the right, dynamic right, right, is with right. the brothers. You know, and yeah. I mean, that's his brother. Is he going to believe his girlfriend of just a couple years or his brother that he idolizes? <sighs> you know, like this could go so many different ways. All right. So uh, just for uh, formality reasons, did she state her name by chance? No, she didn't. But let's let's call her Susan. All right. So Susan, I'm going to try to give some feedback. Okay. Because I can't say I've actually been in this situation right. personally. Neither okay? have I. <laughs> but I'm trying to weigh the I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons right mm-hmm. now. Um, because it is such a dilemma. I mean, it, you're on the edge of everything here. Yeah. So it's been like 25 minutes, guys. Editing yeah. world. <laughs> yeah, editing world. 25 minutes. <laughs> Bouncing the different scenarios. Right. But actually i have been in a, like a similar situation mm-hmm. but on from the outside right right I would looking hope so. in <laughs> yes so from on the outside looking in in that situation mm-hmm. i did say something mm-hmm. okay wait wait were you a, a party like or did you kiss somebody else's girlfriend or no okay. no so how no. were you on the outside looking in? i was on the outside looking in because the person that i knew it essentially happened to the other person in the same way. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. So a, a guy was with someone and then ended up doing something with somebody else. Uh, okay, the same but kind you knew of thing. About it. But I knew about okay. it. And then it ended up coming out. Okay. And what I'm trying to say is that um, it didn't end well at all. Mm. And I think in your situation, if you do say something, of course, I don't think it's going to end well, right. uh, you know, for your boyfriend and, the, and his brother's um, situation, like mm-hmm. their their actual relationship. But if you keep it in, it's not going to end well for you either right. because you're going to you're going to end up going to these family events and stuff like that. And you're going to build resentment mm-hmm. and stuff. And then it's going to get to the point later on down the road. Where she's going to be acting weird. Where and, she's going to yeah. be acting weird and not even wanting to be around right. uh, the brother. But her actual boyfriend isn't going to know why. Exactly. And exactly. that's the big thing. Mm-hmm. So if I was in your shoes, if I was in your shoes, because I'm honor, I am full honor, full valor. If I was in your shoes, I would say something. It would be, like I've said in so many episodes before this, I get things off my chest, mm-hmm. so I don't have anything to worry about. Right. None of that will come out. Of You know, eventually it won't, you know, it'll be on the table. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to sleep at night. And, but you'll have to deal with everything that comes after that. So. Right. I, you know, my, my first um, instinctive response was no, don't say anything because it's just going to be blown out of proportion and it's going to be bad. But, you know, you brought up a really good point and that she's going to know and it's going to eat at her. And like you said, she's not going to want to go to the events. The brother's not going to understand why. And then it's probably going to cause other feelings of resentment or other questions and, she definitely doesn't want that. And she she is not the guilty party in this. Yeah. You know, so why should she shoulder the guilty feelings or, you know, the anxiety or whatever that has to do with this? It's not fair. So I agree. I think, um, Susan, you definitely should say something. Um, I think 
your approach yes. needs to be very careful and not accusatory. Um, and I think it might be good to speak with the brother beforehand and maybe the two of you talk to your boyfriend and just say, hey, this is what happened. And maybe, you know, the brother can use the excuse that he had been drinking. He didn't realize he stumbled into the wrong room. Whatever. I don't, you know, it is what it is. But right. um, I think that the truth does need to come out because you don't want that on your conscience because you didn't do anything wrong. No. Yeah. You, you know, and it's not fair to your boyfriend to have to kind of try and figure out what's going on. And, um, you know, if it comes out later, it just and then he's going to assume or think that maybe there was more to it. And that's why you didn't say anything. So I think I, I think you should say something. But like I said, I think you should uh, speak with the brother and perhaps approach it on a united front so that the boyfriend understands that there's nothing there that it was an honest mistake etc cetera, etc cetera. and i unfortunately think there's still going to be some fallout but better to deal with it now um than to have it come out later and it be way worse way worse mm-hmm. yeah yeah i'm definitely curious to know what our other listeners think about this though i agree yeah so we are going to put up a poll on our facebook page um um, and we want to hear. We want to know what you would do. Would you tell the boyfriend or not tell the boyfriend? So we'll have that pull up. Again, that'll be on our Facebook. And you can find that um, from our website, rr with rr.com. And like Roland was saying earlier, we want to hear from you. If you are having a relationship dilemma, please send us an email. And we promise to keep it anonymous. And you can send us an email at askrolandandreina at gmail.com and if you can't remember that again just go to our website and you'll be able to find everything from yeah, there everything from there mm-hmm. and not only that um susan we uh we would like an update oh absolutely on what you decide to do mm-hmm. uh what ends up happening no matter how long it may take you right. to make a decision at some point you know send us send us a response uh, yeah. an update and we'll definitely Definitely love to hear what actually happens. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Yeah. And and good luck <laughs> to whatever yes. you decide to do. And like Roland said, we would love to hear an update. Absolutely. So that's this episode. And I wanted to thank all you guys for all the all the uh, support. Mm-hmm, the as listens. As always, the, the listens, follows, the following, yeah. and all that stuff. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. Right. With all that being said, until next week, guys. See you later, guys. See you.